Grand rising, grand rising, grand rising, my beautiful normies and non-normies. It is 10.04 in the morning, and I do hope that y'all are having a amazing morning, a better morning than I am having, because I can say that my morning is... Whew, just a little bit challenging right now. Just a little bit challenging. I was supposed to put an episode yesterday, so I am going to be non-apologetic with me today. I will say that the pain has... Oh, yay! Great, go ahead. Go help her, boo-boo. <laughs> I can say that... um. Uh, that fall that I took back, um, oh, uh, what weekend was that, yo? I think, what weekend was that? Oh, uh, I think it was like four weekends ago. I took that fall, and, um, yeah, I think I did more damage than what I thought I did. So I've been like bedridden the past few days. And I just been in a lot of pain. I'm not feeling good. And yesterday I went out. Ah, ah, sorry y'all, I'm trying to move because I'm really not comfortable right now. If I stay too long in a position, excuse me, to, um, the pain will take over, and I am right now actually, um, recording from the bed, because I can't take sitting in the wheelchair for too long, can't take right now, I think I bruised my pelvis. Little pressure from the left side. Maybe that'll make it hmm. What are you doing, Boo Boo? We're opening the curtains. Okay, we're opening the curtains. And why are we doing this? Because we need sun. Okay, we need sun. Okay. I'm freezing. We need sun. All of a sudden, I'm freezing. Ooh, I hate when this happens. It's like, um, my blood sugars or my iron goes low. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm freezing out of nowhere right now. I was fine. All of a sudden, I feel like, oh my god, I got an iceberg. Give me a blanket. Sorry, y'all. Why would I put the books back on top of the blanket when I know that I was going to have to move the blanket up higher to my shoulders? That just seriously made no sense to me. Look it up, look it up. Alright, y'all, sorry, 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 sorry. I got a call I'm waiting on, and my phone is disconnected right now, so I'm using the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi number, and it's the first time I'm using this app, so I don't know, I'm trying to make sure I keep an eye on the phone, because it's just social security I'm waiting on, and I don't know if it's going to call, you know, they, ouch, 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 oh, man, I have to get you in pain. I know you got 
lots of funny stuff going on, but that's one thing you can't be forgetting, boo. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. There's definitely one thing you cannot be forgetting about, boo. Mm, sorry, y'all. So, yeah, I've been doing good lately. I have not been doing good. This pain is just like, cool. Mm, 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 mm. So yeah, so the latest update on to fat to to fat. I can't talk. What word was that? To just to. Oh mm, my gosh. Tragedies, I guess is what I want to say. Um, I got mail yesterday, right? So I was like, oh look, I I got mail. Ain't that a you know coincidence? I'm finally getting my mail now. Yeah, so it turned out it was a letter from SSI saying that we were not going to get Booger's money. And that's the only other money we have left to survive on. So I was like, great, awesome, super duper, fantastic. Whoop, whoop. Isn't this like, wow, the icing on the cake. Like, now all we need is a glass of milk. No, we don't. We said no, and I am not speaking it into existence. No, I am not. So I have to be like, I got to call these people. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this with my phone being cut off. Because the Wi-Fi here ain't the best. So most of these apps want you to verify your phone. How am I supposed to do that? My joint is cut. That's the whole point of me downloading y'all retarded behinds. So that I can utilize you while my phone is cut. Like, duh. So I found one. And then I called, um, bro KT. And I was like, you know, I used it. We talked for a while. I, it was working good. So I'm like, I, I could definitely use it. You know what I'm saying? I called SSI in the morning. I called. I mean, they they did give the you know the little disclaimer that their phone lines are having difficulties and you know the drop the calls make it drop. But I kind of find out I get more information by the next person that I talk to. So the first person that I talk to, they need to give me all the info. Each person that I talk to is providing me different information. But all in all together. The motel returned back um, the redetermination um, paperwork they gave that you're supposed to fill out. And because it was returned back to sender, I got the account then got flagged where they need to find out the mailing address, all this. Like they, re- they need to redetermine the whole account now. And then even though I just did that piece by update, like letting them know what happened with the mail and now I can, the mailing address is going to be this, but the physical address is accurate. They just returned my mail, even though we do live here. Um, and gave them, you know, the, the box address so that I can get it sent to me uh, so I can refill it out again. Because I was told that that's what had to happen, but even though I explained that this is the income that we're relying on, whatever the case may be. Um, hold on, you guys. I'm getting, like, my brain is getting foggy. Hold on. I really feel my brain getting foggy out of nowhere. I'm at the point, I ended up getting, like, a really rude one. And he triggered me, and I was like, you know what, sir, you really don't have to be so rude. I was like, I'm already having a difficult life right now. I'm already homeless. I don't have a penny. I'm ending up in a wheelchair. I was like, and I don't need your, like, nastiness. I was proud of myself for speaking up for myself without, like, breaking down and allowing the bipolar to get triggered. That was an aha moment for me, and... I think this is why I wanted to do this podcast, and I think that's why my brain got foggy, because I was seeing a whole bunch of other blah, blah, blah that was pointless to you guys. But in the whole process of me going through all of this, having to call SSI and do all of that, I did end up with one person who was not nice. And this is not the first time it's happened to me. Like, he was completely rude. 
while he was trying to verify the account. And one of the reasons I was trying to, during verification, verify something is because it had to do with the verification piece. And he kept cutting me off and cutting me off and just being very rude about it. Like, he was just being very rude about it. Instead of letting me finish that one sentence so that he can understand why I was asking at that moment... Um, Beba! Why, why I was asking at that moment, um, he just kept being rude about it, you know what I'm saying, and being rude about it, and I was just like, I can't take it no more, like, I really can't, because he's just being so disrespectful, like, and he was just so dry, like, if you didn't want to be at work today, then you know what, we are, you should have stayed home. You should have took a mental health day and stayed home because you, nothing gives you the right to mess up my mental. Like, people need to understand. It's okay if you wake up one day and decide, listen, I'm not feeling it today. I'm not feeling it today. I'm not feeling the love for other people. I'm not feeling the being kind for, to other people. I'm not feeling the empath for, empathy for other people. Like, I'm not feeling it today. Let me stay home because... You can rock somebody else's emotions with your own emotions. You can give somebody who's already probably on that edge that nudge to get to jump off that edge with your own emotions and you don't know it. You can drive somebody over the cliff and you don't even realize it. With just the way that you're dealing with your own your own day. And how you're responding to others. That's why when I used to work customer service, I used to, when people used to vent to me, and, I mean, I used to get dinged in my numbers sometimes, but I would make it up with the other calls that were shorter, and I knew I could make them shorter. I would make up with those calls, but the ones that needed to vent a little and were frustrated about it, and I knew I could de-escalate them, I would take the time to do it without rushing it, I would do it. Why? Because let me tell you something, sweetie. You never know. You never know. Me being a mental health patient, you never know what could drive that person over that edge. And you never know who can take that person off that edge. I've had customer service representatives that I wasn't on the edge when I called them. I was feeling frustrated and overwhelmed when I called them. And they took the minute, you know what I'm saying, to, to notice it, realize it, and because they took that second to notice it and realize it, they actually made me feel better by the, by the end of that call. I didn't feel like I did when I first called. <coughs> Excuse me. And even if um everything wasn't resolved in my favor, I still didn't feel like I did when I first called and I wasn't upset. Because they handled it correctly, and they also handled me correctly. They didn't make me feel no less of a person. See, now I'm not freezing no more. What the heck fudge? I don't understand. This is weird. So this one representative just, I'm, I'm like, by the way he answered the phone. I'm so social security, how can I help you? I already knew he wasn't having a good day. I mean, I'm already not having a good day, so I'm not trying to let his emotions affect my emotions, but I guess I lost. I mean, I did because I did get emotional. I didn't cry, so I, do, I, was, I am proud of that. I didn't allow him to... to make me cry while he was on the phone um I didn't cry through the whole time that I had to call the other two people um because I had to call two more times after that um in total I had to call them four times but I did break down after the whole entire process I will admit to that like I did break down after the whole entire process but I did you know what I'm saying speak up to that person and stand up for myself 
I did let him know respectfully without letting the bipolar be triggered and without, you know, using profanity and without cutting words or anything like that. I did say in a respectful manner and I am proud of myself for that because typically I would you I would do it in a cutful way or in a sarcastic way or in a disrespectful way because I felt disrespect for, disrespected, but I didn't do that today, and that's a big step forward for me, and I am very proud of that. Very proud of that, because the old me would have not been able to handle it the way that I did, and the old me would have broke down completely on the phone, and I'm happy that I didn't, because I have... Uh, raw feelings and emotions and I don't like showing them all the time they're not meant to be shown all the time and they're not meant to be shown to everyone that's my personal opinion I don't feel like everyone deserves that energy I don't feel like everyone has earned that energy to me raw feelings and emotions are on the top like top list priority along with respect you know, they, like, they go neck and neck with respect. And I don't just give my raw feelings and emotions to just anyone. Like, the times that y'all have heard me break down on my episodes, I respect you guys. I respect my listeners. You know, I respect your opinion of me. You know, I respect you guys deeply. And because I respect you guys deeply... I was not playing my music this whole time. I just noticed. Oh no, hold on. Music on. Here we go. Oh, oh, I feel better. Because I respect you guys deeply is why I'm able to give you guys raw feeling and emotions the same when I go onto YouTube. You know? On my blog, like, I don't like giving everyone my raw feelings and my emotions I only do that when I deeply respect like I have to have some type of respect some type of connection some type of emotions some type of feeling there in order for me to even have like any type of respect like I don't know I, I, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from I mean, I know my brain is very complex and sees things completely different and from different angles. Like, I've heard it from so many different people, it's not even funny. Especially all my partners. Okay, mouse. It's not time to come out and play. Not time to come out and play. Sorry, you guys, it just made me jump. This was not part of the episode. 
Definitely not part of the game plan. Did not realize I had one in the room. And much less by my bed. Definitely not in my script for today. <laughs> not in my game plan for today. My script for today. Anywhere in my scenario for today. Did not want to run into one of them suckers for today. Not at all. I mean, I was already having a, a, a difficult morning as it is. You know, having to deal with the SSI and then deal with the one person in SSI. And now I have to go through this. Like, okay. Alrighty. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, I got this. I know I do. Ooh, I tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't make this up, even if I wanted to. Half of the things that I go through are like, oh, man, I really need to write a book. If I wrote a book, would you guys, would you guys buy it? Would y'all support me by buying the book? I mean, y'all need to support me now. <laughs> by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, or none of that. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. Because if I don't laugh, then I'm just gonna keep on crying. And I don't want to keep on crying. My life is way too short. Way too short to be stressed out. Way too short to be stressed out. Gotta find a good. Gotta find a good. Gotta find a good, gotta find me good, I definitely do. Oh man, I do hope though that you guys are having a better loving day than I am. Because I am being tested, tested today, tested. But it's okay, because I'm up from challenge. I woke up, out. Even though I woke up in pain, sorry you guys, my phone's about to die and I'm recording on air, so I, I, I gotta, uh, 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 so I can, uh, I to touch it, but um, I woke up today, sure did. together so if they're happy they're smiling and I gotta be happy I gotta be smiling I gotta be okay too I can't let them be the only ones outside of me I gotta outshine them too can't let them have all, all, the, all, the, you know, all the fun all the good looks I gotta, I gotta be the one out there doing the same thing too shoot you know what I mean can't let my babies have it all but, honestly speaking, though, the mo fact that I was able to not um, lose my casket altogether lets me know that the work I'm doing within myself, even though I almost lost a little bit of hope that it was making a difference, is letting me know that it is making a difference. Now I'm going to keep pushing even harder. Because I had doubt. I was doubting. I was doubting that this affirming was doing anything. I was doubting that. 
that my manifesting was doing anything. I mean, come on, look at where my situation is right now. I mean, look, look at what my situation is right now. I have a reminder of my situation every day. So it's kind of hard to stay in what you're manifesting, to stay in what you're affirming when the situation that you have to look at every single day is, is not a positive one. So it's very difficult to stay with that positive mind frame. It's very difficult to stay in that in that uh, atmosphere of I got this. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, you guys. Come on in a second. But the, the phobia is real. Okay, so I know these sectors to on wires, and because I plug the plug up. I don't want the choir to touch the ground because I don't want the sucker to get on the bed. So I'm just making sure the wire is not on the ground. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, so for the past like um couple of days, I've just been like, I've been down, you know, and I've been not down and out. I've just been down. You know, I've been down because I've been in bed and, you know, like, not moving around, not at my desk, not working on any meals, not actually, not really advertising, and I haven't really been doing anything, I've just been down. I've been, like, just in a lot of pain and just trying to suck it up and trying to, to just be okay, you know, and it takes a toll on you, and it, it really does take a toll on you, it takes a cold, a cold, oh my gosh, it takes a cold, yeah, y'all, I don't know what cold is, but if anybody knows what cold is, let me know, because I'd appreciate to know what the heck I'm talking about, because I'm out here talking about something, and I don't even know what it is, but it takes a toll on you to, yes, my love, okay, I don't know where it is, Okay, well, okay, okay. So, taking a toll, like, it'll take the biggest toll on you. And it takes a lot of energy from me. And I already, my energy is something I fight with every single day to begin with. Like, so, yeah, let's just say it's a battle. It's a battle. Like, it's a battle. So these past few days, it's just been like, ugh. And then, not only that, because I really haven't had, you know, Mary Jane like that, it also really let me see that I was right. My, my uh, psych, uh, depression medication and all my psych meds really don't work. It is Mary Jane and my affirming and manifesting and everything else that I'm doing that actually does work like I take the psych meds so can't nobody say that I'm not in compliance so if anybody tries to come for me they can't say that I'm not in compliance because I'm in compliance because I'm dead ass about my kids I don't play about mine but yeah they don't work you know what I'm saying psych meds ain't always for everybody what actually works for me is, you know, Mary Jane. Well, two, unfortunately, I don't have $250 to go get my marijuana card. But, um, for the past few days, I've, I haven't doubted what I can accomplish, so let's not get that wrong. I know what I can accomplish. I know what I can do. I know what I can and can't do. You know what I'm saying? I know I have the ability to accomplish so many things. I do know that. Like, I know I, I have the ability to fight and, and get out of my situation. I, I know that as well. But it gets tiring and frustrating to constantly hit so many obstacles back and back to back to back to back to back to back. It gets 
it's very frustrating and very overwhelming. So I was just kind of like, yes, my love. It's tired, so I am tired. But I know that I can do this. But like I've been, like I said, the depression has been a thing, and it's kicked in. And lately, it's just been like, am I even doing it? Like, is it even working? Am I changing anything? Like, is anything going right? Am I like going? Am I changing my mind frame? In other words, am I changing my ways of thinking? Am I taking the negativity out and replacing it with positivity? Which is what I'm work. I've been working on for the past two months, and today I finally got my answer with the way that I responded with with that situation. Because any other time, I would have took it personal, and I would have, you know, felt like he was attacking me personally, and I would have went in on him, you know, and I would have completely responded different than what I did respond. I know it wasn't personal, but again, I don't. I resp- I felt like I responded correctly, and I'm proud of myself because it's way better than I've responded ever in the past. And I didn't allow myself to break down. And that's something that in the past I always had a problem with. And I'm really proud of myself. And that's something I thought that I would share on here. Because I don't know who else needed to hear that story. I don't know who else may find themselves in a situation that I'm in now. Or similar to one. Or it may feel as bad as mine. But it's not as bad, and maybe you can find more comfort in the fact that, you know, it's not as bad and you can get through yours. I don't know, however you want to look at it. But I just thought I would share that because it's a truth for me. And it's letting me know that every step that I take every day, every time I open my affirmation book and I write my affirmation five times, three times a day, I'm working on me. I'm taking time for self-care. I'm taking time to love myself three times a day. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. And to make sure that I actually do it, I do it when I'm doing my meals. So, if I didn't eat three times that day, then unfortunately I have to find something else to remind myself to do the affirmation. But if I did eat three times that day, then yeah, I wrote down my affirmations three times a day, five times each. And I at least do two affirmations a day. So I write two affirmations five times each, three times a day. If I didn't eat that day, then I try to just keep track like, oh my God, why am I so nauseous about the next time I come back and forth? Then I would um, try to just keep track of when I'm doing schoolwork. I look at the time and I try to remind myself I, last time I wrote my affirmations were XYZ. If it's close, like if, I, if it's like 3 or 4 o'clock, then I'll write like the afternoon and the evening one together. If I remember, like if I woke up late, it's like 10 or 11 o'clock, I'll write the morning and the afternoon one together something like that so this way I won't forget or I'll write the morning one and then I'll keep in the back of my mind reminding myself you're 
repeating it over like the afternoon one, like the afternoon one. Sometimes it'll be an hour and a half later when I really remember and I'll look up and I'm like, oh snap, let me write the afternoon one now. But I'll keep it in the back of my mind and usually when I do that, I'll try to read all the other ones before it. I'll read them to myself again to keep affirming them to myself as well. And another routine that I do as well is, um, you guys, this went from, I'm sorry, I switched topics, but I, in my mind, I didn't switch topics as it goes to how I was able to, you know, positively respond to that representative, but I did switch topics, I just noticed that now, and I'm sorry, y'all, this should have been a whole different podcast, but to me, it goes together, so that's why my brain is doing it now, but to a typical person, it should be two separate podcasts. But I'm sorry, I put them all in one. My non-apologetically self. It's just the way my brain functions. But um, it's already here, so I'm just gonna keep on going. So another thing that I do in the mornings is I have um, a manifesting journal that I follow the steps in there. I try to do that. I try to do one or two of it out of there a day. Um, I have a spiritual journal. I mean, I have a spiritual planner where I track my mood, uh, my habits, my daily schedule, my daily planner. Like, spiritual wise, um, I do that as well. And now, station journal has added a morning uh, what is, uh, what is the, hold on. morning pages where you're supposed to take three pages a day and just dump out your brain. I would just call it a brain dumping journal to be honest with you but they call it morning pages so I gotta get another notebook now and basically it tells you to just in your regular scripture where there's no one It's um, script or print. It's your regular handwriting. You're going to freelance anything that's on your mind. Don't think about it. Don't, don't, nothing. Just let it all out. Spring up. Don't, don't think hard about it. Just whatever comes to mind, just write it out. And make sure that all three pages are full. It, don't think about punctuation. Don't think about spelling. Don't think about nothing. Just write it out. And just leave it on the page, all three pages, and do it every morning as, and as soon as you wake up. It's supposed to be the first thing you do. The earlier, the better. Because then this way you start your day without any doubts, without any insecurities, without anything. Because you're starting with a clean slate. Anything that you woke up with is already out of your mind and out of your head. And you start with a complete clean slate. So that's something new that I'm starting as well to help me out also. And I think that does help. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, share with you guys that information. I really thought that was good. I thought I handled it good. And I also then wanted to share the techniques that I've been using that has helped me get to that, to the place that I am now. Um, I'm not perfect. I still lose it on people, don't get me wrong. I'm a work in progress. You know, between the coaching program, the firming and the manifesting, I'm just trying to work on my stress level, to be honest with you. I just need my stress level to come down. I need my stress level to be what it needs to be so that I can just try to get us out of here and into a better and safer place so that I don't wake up with rats on my face. Or mice under my bed, begging my box for me. But, um, I do hope that you guys have a blessed, beautiful day. And please make sure you make today count, for tomorrow is not promised to nobody, so let's make today our best day. Make it shine, make it shine, alright? Later.